Given recent events in Middlesbrough, with a recent rape taking place late last year at Spencer's Emporium and reports of students being followed to their accommodation, here with us we have Claire from Campus Security, but first we'd like to ask Hayley Ferguson, a journalism student from Teesside University, a few questions. <laughs> so can you please tell us what happened to you? So, uh, a few Fridays ago, I was walking home by myself. And I was followed home by a man I don't know. <laughs> I was followed like right back to the door of the apartment block I live in, which was terrifying to say the least. I had to call um, my friend to come downstairs and meet me in the foyer because I was like freaking out. Um, that isn't actually the first time I was followed home. I've been followed home once before when I was leaving the park. Some guy followed me across the park and that really freaked me out. And it's kind of totally stopped me like walking on my own, I sort of like to stick in a group of at least another person, if I can. So would you say as a precaution, students should really be walking in groups, preferably mostly if they're female? Yeah, um, I would say it pays, I think, to be mindful of your friends and to stick in groups. The body system is pretty important, yeah. I think. Thank you. We have Claire from Campus Security, and we'd like to ask her a few questions. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, can you tell us what strategies are in place to help keep students safe? Well, I think, mm -hmm. first of all, you need to try and keep yourself safe. So it's understanding what you can do uh, when you're out and about to keep yourself safe. So I think it was interesting for you to have said that you felt more secure with your friends around you. And that would be one of the strategies that I would suggest that you should think about if you were going out and about. So always try and be with your friends or let your friends know where you're going to and what time you might arrive. Think about the route when you're going to go somewhere. Is it lit? Isn't it lit? Just be aware of your surroundings. Um, um, Don't walk around with your headphones in if you've got your iPad on sometimes because you're not aware of your environment and who may be behind you. I think from a personal safety point of view, that's probably some of the things that you can do. But um, from a university point of view, we've just introduced a new application for uh, mobile telephones, which is called SafeZone, which I think would have worked really good in that scenario. Okay. So it's um, a cloud-based smartphone application. Basically, it helps the security team try and keep our staff, our students and our visitors safe while they're on campus. It's geofenced, so we can put a geolocator around a particular area and once the app's depressed, we can try and find out where you are. It helps us find out where you are. You just click on the app when you've downloaded it and you put in your student details. So as if you were going to log on to the student portal and it comes out with an application like this. So you can see there's an emergency button, a first aid button and a help button. And they're the three main functions of this. So it's about first aid. It's about your own safety and it's about help if you need some help. So ultimately, if you needed some help straight away, instead of having to uh, think about what numbers or who you might phone, you just click on the emergency disc and that goes straight through to our security team here on campus. If you have some medical conditions or you're taking medication, if you put that detail into the app, if you had an episode on campus, you could depress the button and we would know where you are because we could GPS locate you and it will give us an understanding of what your condition is. You can also download a picture of yourself so we can see who we're looking for. The help button's really helpful for if you got lost or if you think something's happened to you but it might not be an emergency. If you depress the button, then we can see where you are as well. But what we can also do is if you were off campus and you weren't within the uh, campus area and you, but you still needed help, if you press the emergency button it goes th straight through to 999 so it goes through to Cleveland Police and they'll, they'll come out and help you. So this is really one of the applications that we're asking our students and staff to download. Also got functionality if you were working late or you're a lone worker you can log in and it will show our security team where you are. So if you needed help again, we'd be able to look for you and come and find you. But it tells us who's in the buildings that are open 24-7 so that we can look out for you. It's really handy as well for some of our vulnerable students. They also get some extra reassurance if they download the app because they like us to know where they are at all times and we can come and assist them should they want to. Just, just generally from a campus perspective as well, the security team are really here to look after some of the students and staff safety and well-being. So I would encourage all students, if you live off campus and you are in a situation like yourself or you just want 
the security team to help you get home, then if we can and we're free, we're more than happy to walk you home or to come and find you if you're lost and come and uh, help take you home because that's our job after all, to try and look after your personal safety. So we're, we're here for you 24-7 and look to help you as much as we can. What advice would you give to students before going on a night out? I would uh, suggest that you know where you're going first of all, have a, a, a time that you're going to meet each other, you don't be carrying lots of cash around, certainly don't put your mobile phone in your back pocket for everybody to see and don't be outwardly using your mobile telephone where somebody can just take it off you. Travel in groups, stay together, let people know where you're going. I know that the Student Union are sponsoring safe areas down in the town so if you uh, do have any problems or you need some help you can go into certain pubs and you can ask for help. As a safety team and with the Student Union we're trying to do as much as we can to help keep students safe but you know I would say to anybody listening to uh, this today if you've got any ideas how we can keep you safe or you would like to, for us to look at other ways of keeping you safe then we're more than happy to listen to our students and our staff and adapt what we do to suit the needs of our people. Thank you. That's all from Claire and Hilly. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you.